make some noise for our seventh housemate to be evicted. It's Thomas! <laughs> oh! oh uh, no! Yeah, I pushed my luck enough. <laughs> no! You're so close to the final. I know, though. I'm gutted. But oh, I'm you happy. really gutted. Yeah. I tried, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> I mean, you tried bloody hard, oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. Did you think you could win it? Oh, no, no, no. I just wanted to... Why? Because I just... I don't, I don't know. I just have trouble believing in myself sometimes. But, yeah, I just wanted to squeeze every week out of it as much as I could, just get as far as I could, because it's an experience of a lifetime. That was what was so lovely about watching you, though, is that... You know, you're obviously a massive Big Brother fan. Mm. It was very much a game, this series, and you played that game. That's right. And you seemed to live and breathe it and loved every second of being in there and making yeah. the most of it, yeah. which is why it would have been lovely to see you go all the way. Oh, yeah, I would love to, but it's OK still. I mean, I'm on the show and it's been my dream and now it's happening. I'm just very, very happy. I've got to tell everybody watching that during the break, he's just been going, <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I'm here! <laughs> yes. Like, you've lived in there for how many weeks and you still can't believe yeah, you're here? Yeah, it still feels like a dream. I feel like I'm going to wake up in a second and I'm going to be in my bed because nothing ever happened, really. It's just surreal. Um, this week was Positive Noms, so we flipped it on their head, obviously, yeah. um, which must have been nice for you guys yeah, to kind of go in good. there and not have that dreaded feeling. Yeah, it was um, You did receive one. One? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Shade. And that was... <laughs> And that was from Cameron, oh, obviously. Absolutely. I've got to say, though, it's the, look, the people with the most votes weren't, like, uh, had loads, do you know what I mean? They okay. only had a few, so okay. th there was not... Um, it's, it's not really... Um, and you're not here for that reason. Mm. You are here because every week we do a secret viewer nomination, okay. which you guys didn't know, obviously, anything oh. about. And the bottom three this week were facing eviction with the people in the house that received... OK, the least understand. amount of nominations. Right. So you were in the bottom three with Sean and Brooke this week. OK, I understand. Um, you obviously don't know that when you're in there, um, but we've seen paranoia creeping in with certain housemates like Sean and Brooke because they don't understand how they're being put up for eviction yeah, and yeah. who's nominating them. Yeah. And it's because they've been at the bottom of the viewer's secret poll. Oh. That's what's been The twist, the twist. Oh, the twist! They the just skip twist. coming. <laughs> That's why I love the show. Um, so, big coin happened this series. Yes. And my goodness, <laughs> did you get competitive, Thomas? <gasps> I did a little bit, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> Lots of the nominations that you received mm -hmm. were for that reason. Oh, I because know. Because of your competitive nature. Yeah, I knew um, this would happen. D did you feel that it affected your relationships in the house? Well, obviously, when the first uh, whole game plan came out and everything, I was like, oh, I'm going to go now because this is not seen, you know, to be a game player. This is such a bad thing. Maybe I'm playing people. Maybe I'm playing the game. Maybe I'm playing everything. So, obviously, I was expecting, you know, that I wasn't doing myself any favours, but I just couldn't do it any other, way, any other yeah. way. But did you feel that people started to not trust you? Oh, yeah. As soon as the Extra Life thing came on the auction, they were side-eyeing me and they were, you know, paranoid and what is he doing? What's the game plan? Well, is this alliances? Is this friends? You know, uh, yeah, I just, I just felt like it was all going down, but I just, I just went for it. You I know? quite like the fact that you were really open about it, yeah. you know, because it, it, for this series especially, it was very much pitched as a game for all of you. And then we brought in Bitcoin and it was obviously even more of a game. So if you're, if you're in a game anyway, that is very much a game this series, then why not play the game? Yeah. And you did play the game. Yeah, I did. And you were very good at playing the game, but you weren't very good at taking the game. Yeah, I know. So when it flipped on <laughs> you, I know. Well, I saw it you coming threw too. those toys out of the pram. <laughs> I, I, I saw it coming too, but yeah, but it was just a backstab, you know, that I didn't like, that's it. Because when somebody tells me they have my back, I just expect that, so I never see it coming, ever. Oh! <laughs> I know. Come on, it's got to go both ways. I know, I know. <laughs> You've got to expect to have your money nicked. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you and Cameron have had an absolutely lovely relationship yeah. from day one. What drew you to him? I mean, I always felt very protective over him. I didn't know why. Uh, from from day one, from the launch, really. And then, obviously, there was uh, his coming out. And then I clocked it. I was like, that's why. You know what I mean? Like, I was I was very confused at first. Like, it's an 18-year-old guy. That I have nothing in common with, but we have this strong bond. I didn't yeah. know where it came from. What was it like to be there with him when he came out? 
I mean, it just, it was just amazing because I've never really been a witness of anybody coming out yeah. apart from myself and this wasn't great either. So it was very special, yeah. And it was such a wonderful response. Yeah. From the rest of the house. Um, I've got to tell you actually, ever since you came out of the house, it's been in tears. Oh, bless him. I know. It's been, it's been a, a bit of a tough day for him, right? Because yeah. he's now lost the two closest people to him in one day. Yeah, that's How true. do you think he'll get on going forward? Everybody loves him in this house, so we could see it with the, with the piggy bank task. Everybody gave him coins, and Big Brother will look after him, so he's going to be okay. And he knows I'm going to have so much fun with everybody here. Yeah. So. Um, something that you were very good at, I think, <clears throat> apart from playing games, <laughs> was giving advice. Oh, really? Yeah. There was a few times that I've noticed it, especially where you would, with Hussein, for example, um, when he had that big argument with Isabella, yeah. you kind of sat him down and went, look, you've been a bit of a yeah. Like, go out there, apologise. You know, you, you, you're very good at having perspective on things. OK, thank um, you. We've seen it tonight with Zoe when she was struggling and you kind of really have people's back. Yeah, I tend to do that when somebody's a friend. Are you somebody, always like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In real life and always, if I have friends, I will just give my heart, you know, to them and everything that I possibly can. Yeah. Um, there's some, you see, see that guy there? Oh, he's just gone. <laughs> um, you uh, had an unlikely... For, there he is. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! There have been some unlikely friendships over the years and this has just joined the list oh my goodness um, it has been so lovely to watch and i say it's an unlikely friendship because there was such rivalry mm. in the beginning yeah and and then it just suddenly see it was almost like one day you were trying to get him out of the house and the next day you were, like, staring at his nipples. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Well, basically, first of all, I saw his competitive side. I was delusional, obviously, to think that he was so mine as well, because I don't look like somebody who's competitive, right? So it came from that, because I saw him in the coin scavenger hunt with this pile of coins. Yeah. So I was like, OK, I have to watch that one. Yeah. And then he had these little quirks of his character. I was like, oh, why is he doing that? Is he playing up to cameras? What, what is that? And he's a very diplomatic person, let's say, right? So, and I'm always, like, hot or cold yes or no so I couldn't get that because I don't get that in my real yeah. life and then it took like three weeks for me to understand him and then when I clicked on it okay this is him this is him genuinely his character everything about him is real then obviously it was did just... you also like the fact that he was competitive oh I loved it yeah. because like I didn't like think about any other person in the house that way just uh, about him because I just could see it in his eyes and I was like oh I need to watch this one and I got it in my head that he would come after me like a crazy person, which he didn't even know about that I got that in my head until I told him. And then I tried to get him out, you know, but then I was like, no, don't go. <laughs> I know, there was this beautiful friendship has yeah. formed and it's been really lovely yeah. to, to watch it unfold. He's amazing. Um, you are a massive fan of Big Brother, aren't yeah. you? How have you found the whole experience? Has it lived up to what you wanted it to be? Uh, yes, and more. I didn't expect the ups and downs. <laughs> and obviously it's so hard because it's, you know, it's a really fake environment, yeah. and, but the people are real, the emotions are real, and what you feel in the moment is real, so it's hard, especially in being emotional as I am, to actually take it as something fake when, when it's so real yeah. to you, so it exceeded expectations. Would you say it's changed your life? Yeah, it taught me a lot, and in, I think it made me a better person, and it boosted my confidence as well. You can also sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Janessa. Thank you to all the team, by the way, for looking after me and making this happen. And you've lost weight as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Over two and a half stone. Oh, uh, 2.9. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I just think sleeping just makes the world of difference as well, oh, yeah. doesn't it? So it just mu you just must feel so much better. Listen. I know you love these things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your big coins. Uh, you're walking out the house with 288 of them. Yes. Would you like to give them to anybody? Yes, to Cameron, obviously. To Cameron! <laughs> we'll get those to him tomorrow. OK, thank you. Thomas, I'm gutted you're out. You've thank been a fantastic you. housemate. Thank you. You really have. Thank you so much for taking part. Thank you. Part.